This video forms part of a larger series of videos which walks you through how to use Zotero to manage your library and your references in Microsoft Word. Links to the rest of the videos in the series are pasted in the description below. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to insert references into your Word document. I'll firstly show you how to add a bracket at the end of your sentence. I'll then show you how to insert your reference when you want the author's name to be part of the sentence text. And then I'll also show you how to add page numbers to your bracket. So this only works if you have the Zotero plugin. If you don't have the Zotero plugin, you won't have these options in your Word document. You need to have this in order to be able to include references. The first thing I'm going to do is add a bracket at the end of my sentence with the reference in. Assume that I want to add this Anderson reference. I'm going to go to my Word document and just type the sentence and then I'll show you how to add the reference in the bracket. To add the reference, I'm going to click on add citation and this should bring up a dialog box which firstly asks you which citation style you want to use. I've already chosen my citation style, so mine is going straight to the box that asks me to choose my citation that I want to reference. I want to reference the Anderson text, so I'm just going to type the first few letters and you'll see it come up in the list. I'm going to click on that, click enter. And you'll see that Sotero has now included this reference according to the reference style that I have chosen. And then I'm just going to add a period at the end of that sentence. If I want to add more than one reference, I can just stack these references in the Zotero dialog box. You can see that there's now more than one reference in the dialog box. This means that these references are all going to show up in the same bracket. If I want to add this reference to an existing bracket, I just click on that bracket and then I click on add or edit citation and I can then add that additional reference in. If you press enter, you should then have an expanded bracket. Sometimes you want to add the author's name as part of the sentence. This means that you want to omit the author's surname from the bracket but you still need the bracket, you can also do that using the same process. What I usually do is I usually just add the name with the bracket so that I can copy and paste it and make sure that I haven't made any mistakes in the spelling of the author's name. So assuming that I want to add Anderson to the sentence, I'm going to add Anderson as I did earlier. Click enter. Of course, I don't want this bracket to stand like this within my sentence, but I also don't want to manually edit the inside of this bracket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the surname and I'm going to copy it, paste it outside the bracket, and then I'm going to click inside this bracket and say edit citation, and then click on the name of the author and this will bring up an additional dialog box, which allows you to omit the author. If you click on the author's name again, the dialog box goes away and you can click enter. So now I still have the reference, but the author's surname is outside of the reference and I haven't actually manually edited the Zotero field, which is very important. The last thing I want to show you is how to add a page number if you need to insert a direct quotation. What you're going to do is you're going to add the reference the same way we did earlier. And then I'm going to click on the name of the author again. And you'll see that this allows me to add a page number to this reference. I'm going to just add a random page number. And then I'm going to click on the name of the author again and then press enter. And you'll see that my reference now has a page number included. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to generate a bibliography with these references that I've included in my document.